Hey everyone, how's it going? Now it's Bark here. Welcome back to more Let's Play Super Mario World. In the last video, we finished off the special world, and now we're going to finish the game uh, with Bowser's Castle. Now, this castle has two rooms, each with four doors. I'll be doing the every door, but I'll be doing them in order. I'll be doing the first room of each room. Does that make sense to you? And I will we'll be showing every room off. So it's gonna make for some interesting editing, that's for sure. And that's the first room of Bowser's Castle. Now here's room five, the first room of the second room. Oh jeez, this one. I never understood this one. I uh, I guess this is how you do it. <laughs> that works, I guess. And now we're in the final corridor, which... I'll just go ahead and... die there. Now I'll do the second set of rooms. Pretty simple. So yeah, now we're, we've done door one, now we'll do door two. And this one is a... Fence climbing segment. You can just kind of cheese your way through this one by going in the background to avoid the potabos. And that was that. That was door two. Now we go on to door six. Uh, apparently uh, Bowser's basement flooded. Because we're not swimming. Alright, let's see. Can I get past this guy? Yes, I can. Um. Is there actually a fishbone generator? No, I didn't think so. Let's say you can stop moving any time now. <laughs> um. Going too fast for my own good there. And now we got ball and chains here. This is kind of scary. I got to time uh, the moving spike wall that goes all the way into the other wall with the ball and chain here. It's kind of bonking my head on the ceiling here. Like Mario's head's got to hurt by now. Whoa. That was a little close for comfort. And I'm surprised I made that on my first try. And... So yeah, that was door... 2 and 6. Now we can move on to doors 3 and 7. Alright, door number 3 is a, um... Tapestry maze, I guess. You can tell where you can jump through most of the time by those little holes in the tapestry, but you uh, can't always tell sometimes. Uh, like right there. Hopefully I don't get hilariously murdered by uh, a hole in the tapestry with the Mecha Koopa this time. Um, keep moving, keep your eyes open for holes, like I said. Whoa! How does that work? I'm actually honestly kind of surprised that that worked out the way it did. I never knew that cape was there. <laughs> okay, that works for me. Unfortunately, I will not be able to utilize it. Actually, I will be able to use it. utilize it in door number seven. I forgot I had that left to do. Oh, and actually it'll be very useful in this room, I believe. Maybe not. This isn't the room I'm thinking of. This is the room with Bowser statues. Oh man, if that red block was there, it would have been that much more of a challenge. See? I, I lost it anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, something different today from this time. Alright, 
moving along to doors four and eight. That was exciting. Oh my. Now we got the illusionary uh, area here with um, background moving up and down with nothing to stand on in that background. Um. Okay. I was afraid I was going to fall off there. Let's see. Hotheads and little sparkies, and that was that. I forget what's in this door. Oh, this is the room I was thinking seven was for some reason. With the charging chucks here. Whoa! Settle down there! Oh. I got game overed. See you back at the at the Charlie room. Ch whatever. Now we're back here at the Chuck room. The jumping chucks. Uh, let me get this power up here, please. That would be very helpful. And this is where I said the cape would be useful. To knock away these chucks. And that was... That was that. Now we can finally do this room for real. And now that I've gotten all the eight doors out of the way. Um, just a room full of ninjis. I think this is the only place that the ninji is actually used might remember ninjis from uh, Super Mario Bros. 2. But the Mecha Koopas, um, I think these are the only place that it's used as well. And there's a red door here. What could be beyond it? Let's go find out. Some very dramatic music going on. Oh, what is this? It's some sort of clown face with a propeller underneath it could it be? Oh, it's Bowser! Alright. This battle has three stages to it. The first one, he will just fly back and forth in a U-shape like this. He'll stop to throw some Mecha Koopas out at ya. All you gotta do is just throw them up into the air and time it so that they land on his head. He takes two hits per round. And the first one's pretty easy. Then you'll fly off at your face, I guess. Alright, you know, spew fireballs. Usually I find the best tactic is just to stand in one place where you know there's not going to be a fireball. Now he's just going to hover up there and follow you wherever you go. He stops and he shoots this big old cannonball at you that just kind of rolls off the screen there does this two times and he'll drop the Mecha Koopas afterwards. Not much to say about Bowser. He's kind of um, easy in this game. Uh, just make sure not to jump into the propeller. I was expecting that not to hit for some reason. And he goes and flies off into your face again. That thunder is getting kind of annoying. <laughs> Comes back. Peach will give you another mushroom. And he'll start stomping the castle. Trying to crush you. Except for, unlike uh, getting wall crushed, it doesn't one hit kill you. Alright. And also, the... The... I guess the difficulty about this stage is if you have a uh, stunned Mecha Koopa um, and he lands on it, he'll destroy the Mecha Koopa and that's the battle. And we get to see Princess Peach. She's so happy. She gives us a nice kiss on the nose. Now she looks kind of funny if you're small. It looks like she's kissing your hat. So Mario's adventure is over. Mario the princess, Yoshi and his friends are going to take a vacation. A well-deserved one at that. We get a nice little display of fireworks.
And that one's in the shape of a heart. How nice. <clears throat> then we get this credit sequence with uh, Yoshi giving Toadstool a ride. Don't misinterpret that, please. <laughs> Anyways, uh, this game's been fun, actually. Uh, sure, there were some hard parts, uh, especially in the special world. Um, outrageous being one of them, I had to do multiple takes of, but... Uh, you know, it went, it went all right. I think, anyways. Dropping my controller. But, yeah. I'm not sure what I'm going to do in the future yet. Um, I got a couple of games in mind that I want to do, but uh, I still haven't decided on what I want to do yet, so... Um... The couple games I have in mind are uh, Kirby 64, The Crystal Shards, and Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past. Uh, if anyone else has any other suggestions, um, please feel free to post them in the comments box. Uh, that's really about all I have to say. I'll let you guys watch the rest of the credit sequence. I'll see you guys next time on my next Let's Play. See y'all then. And there's the welcoming committee. They're jumping for joy. And thank you for letting me play. And thank you guys for watching. The end. See y'all next time.